Today, we embark on a journey to delve into the six common regrets that could cast shadows on your golden years. In other words, these are amongst the top things people regret at the end of their life. So how do we know these things? We drew insights from various sources like Bonnie Ware's book, The Top Five Secrets of the Dying, a life transformed by the wisdom of those who have faced death. We also gleaned perspectives from Atul Gawande's, if I'm saying that right, Being Mortal, Medicine, and What Matters in the End. Catherine Schultz's exploration in Being Wrong, Adventures in the Science of Making Mistakes. And finally, The Conversations article on what do people regret most at the end of their life. That's the four sources we leaned on for this information. But before we dive into these valuable insights, let me set the stage. Picture a person named Brett on the cusp of retirement, but burdened by the weight of these regrets. The choices he made echo through time, creating a haunting symphony of what ifs. Now let's unravel the lessons hidden within these stories and learn how to script a retirement story without regrets. In the heart of a bustling city, there lived Brett, a dedicated worker embodying the American dream. With unwavering determination, he climbed the corporate ladder, his days filled with a relentless blur of meetings, deadlines, and an endless stream of emails. Does some of this ring a bell in your life? The hustle consumed his life, leaving little room for anything else. As years passed, Brett achieved professional success, but not without a profound cost. The echoes of regret began to whisper in the quiet moments of reflection. He realized that sacrifices made in the name of success had severed precious connections. The laughter of families gathering, the warmth of friends' camaraderie, and the simplicity of joy in everyday life. Now standing at the edge of retirement, Brett found himself haunted by the what ifs. What if he had taken more time with his wife, his kids, other family members, and even his friends? What if he had prioritized his health? What if he had pursued his passions instead of adhering to what society thinks he should be doing? These regrets cast long shadows over what should have been the golden years of his life. But as we explore these regrets today, remember it's never too late, or very rarely is it ever too late to change your story. I'm trying to help you avoid looking back at the end of your retirement and having similar regrets. Brett's journey is a cautionary one and it begins with the regret of working too much in a world that glorifies the hustle. Let me know in the comments below how many of you work for companies who think the rock stars are the ones that come in earlier than they should and leave later than they should, in other words, earlier than eight and well past five. Some people would argue the real rock stars are the ones that do nine hours worth of work in a seven and a half period of time so they can go home. This is, so in other words, they're still putting in more work, but then they can go home and take their kids to the park before it gets dark. Or someone who goes home and gets the dishwasher emptied and the dinner started before his wife gets home because she works for one of those companies who expects you to work too late. Beyond this, what are some other strategies for achieving that elusive work-life balance? Prioritizing leisure, setting boundaries like we just talked about at work, but maybe also other parts of our lives, and cherishing moments with loved ones? This can all change the way the story ends. The key to a harmonious retirement starts here in the delicate dance between professional success and personal fulfillment. What the heck is it all for anyway, working so hard that it interferes with what life really is supposed to be all about? The dance is work hard, play hard. Some of you need to do a self inventory and myself at times, we need to do a self inventory to make sure life isn't just work hard, work hard. Health is the cornerstone of a fulfilling retirement and neglecting it can lead to profound regret. Brett's story takes a twist as we delve into the importance of preventative care, making healthy lifestyle choices, and building a financial safety net for medical emergencies. Navigating the maze of healthcare costs becomes crucial. 
what retirement planning considerations, maybe not financial, but what retirement planning considerations can we deploy to ensure your health remains a top priority in the later chapters of your life? This one's not rocket science. Eat better, smaller portions, stretch more often, and go for walks or whatever activity you like that gets your heart pumping. I know it's not easy, but remember, we're talking about things that most people say they end up regretting. I'll confess, this is not something I do extremely well with. I'm hoping as I encourage others more and more that it will also have an impact on my impact on my own inspiration in this area. Our third regret is woven into the fabric of human connection, not expressing enough love. Brett's journey highlights the importance of meaningful communication, expressing gratitude, and building lasting relationships within families and communities. Strengthening these bonds becomes the cornerstone of a fulfilling retirement. In the fabric of life, love is the thread that binds us all. One of my kids has a friend who's embarrassed to hug his mom in public. We were departing from an event one day and agreed to let him tag along with us. As we stepped away, I said, hey, go hug your mom. You may not see her until later. He literally refused because he was embarrassed. A big old hug is a great way to express love and we never know when it will be our last one with that particular person. Regret number four strikes a chord with many of us, not prioritizing time with loved ones. Brett's tale takes a heartfelt turn as we explore ways to plan quality moments with family and friends. This one is drawing inspiration from the conversations exploration. Creating traditions that stand the test of time and embracing experiences over material possessions become guiding principles. It's time to make connections that will light up the chapters of your retirement years. You know a great way to prioritize time with a loved one on a smaller scale? Make a plan with someone you love for one of the weekends coming up in the next three weeks. You wanna know how you'll increase the chances that you'll actually follow through with it? Buy the tickets or book the hotel room or whatever it is necessary to lock in the plans that you have. Wanna do something on a larger scale? Book a trip three to nine months out. You wanna increase the chances of making sure that that trip actually happens? You guessed it. Go ahead and buy the plane ticket right now. You see, when you have trips like this coming up with the ones you love, not only will the trip be amazing and bring you guys closer together, but it's going to give you so much to talk about between now and then. My family and I are going to Alaska this year. Every time we see something in a store like a jacket, something we could use in Alaska, we, we say to each other, hey, we could use this in Alaska, and we just kind of smile and keep on going. All right, let's move on. The fifth regret takes us to unfulfilled dreams. The American spirit thrives on entrepreneurship and self-realization. Picture this, in your retirement, you learn the art of blacksmithing, getting good enough to one day make your own knife. On a memorable camping trip with your grandson, one of the very knives you made becomes an indispensable tool during that trip. As years unfold, you pass down not just a blade, but a legacy symbolizing craftsmanship, adventure, and the hard work you put into something that you are passionate about. Man, I don't even know if that sounds interesting to you. The point is though, is to bring it to the surface for whatever it is for you. What's interesting to you? Bring that to the surface and then just do it. Regret number six, not taking enough risks. Uh, did that guy have a parachute on? Security is essential, but embracing calculated risks, the key word is calculated there, this can lead to unparalleled personal growth. I can't emphasize enough the importance of stepping outside of your comfort zone, trying new activities, and opening up yourself to fresh experiences. As we navigate the adventures that retirement has in store, remember that embracing change and taking risks can redefine the final chapters of your story. And there you have it, the six common regrets that could taint your retirement story. Brett's story serves as a reminder that our choices shape the narrative of our own lives. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're closer to retiring strong. And until next time, may God bless you.